Robert Hansen, the notorious FBI double agent who secretly fed Russia some of America's deepest secrets in the 1980s and 1990s, has died in a top security prison in USA. The 79-year-old was found unresponsive in his cell at a federal prison in Florence, Colorado and was later pronounced dead. He is believed to have died of natural causes and there are no murmurs of any sort of foul play. Hansen was regarded by FBI as the most damaging spy in Bureau's history. He was sentenced in 2002 to life behind bars after pleading guilty to 15 counts of espionage for the Soviet Union and later Russia for over 20 years in exchange for a prosecution agreement not to seek the death penalty. Hansen had joined the FBI in 1976 after first serving as a policeman in Chicago. On January 12, 1976, Robert Philip Hansen swore an oath to enforce the law and protect the nation as a newly minted FBI special agent. Instead, he ultimately became the most damaging spy in FBI's history. Nine years later, he took a position in counterintelligence in the New York City office, where agents invested huge amounts of time tracking and trying to recruit Soviet officials at the United Nations. Instead, within a short time, he began offering his services to the other side under the name Ramon Garcia and even his handlers did not know his true identity. Under the alias Ramon Garcia, Hansen passed some 6,000 documents and 26 computer disks to his handlers. Officials also believed that he had tipped off Moscow about a secret tunnel the Americans had built under the Soviet embassy in Washington for eavesdropping. He had divulged information about U.S. intelligence gathering since at least 1985 and was believed to have been partly responsible for the deaths of at least three Soviet officers who were working for U.S. intelligence and were executed after being exposed. Believed to have been motivated by money and intrigue rather than ideology, Hansen reaped some $1.14 U.S. million in cash and diamonds for his betrayals. Hansen's espionage activities began in 1985. Since he held key counterintelligence positions, he had authorized access to classified information. He used encrypted communications, dead drops and other clandestine methods to provide information to the KGB and its successor agency, the SVR. The information he delivered compromised numerous human sources, counterintelligence techniques, investigations, dozens of classified US government documents and technical operations of extraordinary importance and value. Because of his experience and training as a counterintelligence agent, Hansen went undetected for years, although some of his unusual activities had aroused suspicion from time to time. Still, he was not identified as a spy. In the 1990s, after the arrest of Alric Ames, the FBI and CIA realized that a mole within the intelligence community was still sharing classified information with the Russians. The agencies initially focused primarily and incorrectly on a veteran CIA case officer who was investigated for nearly two years. A turning point came in 2000 when the FBI and CIA were able to secure original Russian documentation of an American spy who appeared to be Hansen. The ensuing investigation confirmed this suspicion. US investigators eventually turned more attention to Hansen with small bits of information provided by a Russian defector. He was then secretly tracked and recorded in his office for months before being caught at the Virginia dead drop. At the time that he was caught, he was considered the most damaging mole ever to pass US secrets to a foreign government with thousands of classified US documents handed over to the Soviets and later to the Russians. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.